Brothers and sisters in Christ, we continue reading from the Pterichon of the Kievan Caves Monastery. Discourse 21. The monk Erasm, who spent his property on holy icons and found salvation through them. There was a monk in the Caves Monastery named Erasm, who was very rich. He spent all he had on the needs of the church and decorated with metal many icons which hang above the altar to this day. He became extremely poor and was neglected. He fell into despair because he had not received any recompense from the money he had spent on the church, and he had nothing with which to give alms. The devil put these ideas into his heart, and he began to be idle and to neglect everything and pass his days without any fixed plan. He fell seriously ill and remained speechless and blind for eight days, with only a little breath in his chest. On the eighth day, all the brethren came to him, and when they saw his frightful breathing, they marveled, saying, Alas, alas, for the soul of this brother, for he has lived a life of idleness and sin, and now he sees something, and is agitated, unable to depart from this life. Then Erasm got up, as though he had never been ill, sat down and said to them, My brothers and fathers, listen to me. This is truly how it is. You all know that I am a sinner, and up until this day I have not repented. Today the saints Anthony and Theodosius appeared to me, saying, We have prayed to God, and the Lord has given you time for repentance. I saw both the holy Theotokos holding her son Christ our God in her arms, and all the saints with her. She said to me, Erasm, because you have decorated my church and exalted it with icons, I shall glorify you in the kingdom of my son, for you have the poor always with you. But rise up, repent, and receive the great angelic habit. In three days I shall take you, thus purified to myself, for you have loved the beauty of my house. After saying this to the brethren, he began to confess unhesitatingly before them all whatever sins he had committed. Rejoicing in the Lord, he was tonsured into the habit, and three days later departed to the Lord in the fullness of faith. This I heard from the holy and blessed elders, who actually saw what happened with their own eyes. To Polycarp, knowing this, brother, do not think, I have spent my substance in vain, for before God everything is reckoned up to the uttermost farthing. Hope that you receive grace from God in return for your labors. You have completed two doors for the great and holy church of the holy Theotokos in the caves monastery, and she will open the doors of mercy to you, for the priests continually sing of such things in the church. Sanctify, O Lord, those that love the beauty of thy house, and glorify them with thy holy strength. Remember the patrician, who ordered a cross to be made of pure gold, and the young man who, striving to emulate him, added his small amount of gold and inherited all his property. If you spend what you have to glorify God and his holy mother, you will not lose your reward. But say with David, I praise thee more and more, so that God may say to you, I will honor them that honor me. For you yourself said to me, Woe is me, I am spending everything I have everything I have on the needs of the church. Let it not be spent in vain and destroyed by war or thieves or fire. I praise your good intention, for the scripture says, Vow and pay your vows, and it is better that thou shouldst not vow than, than that thou should vow and not pay it. If it should happen that such things are stolen by thieves or destroyed by war, do not blaspheme or be upset, but praise God for it, saying with Job, The Lord gave, the Lord has taken away. In addition, I shall relate to you the story of the monk Aretha.